The Republic of Gamers ROG, logo from ASUS usually appears on products at the more expensive end of the market, but the 2023 edition of the ROG Strix G17 actually starts toward the lower middle of the gaming laptop segment, with our Walmart-exclusive test system priced at just $1,399. ASUS packs in a speedy AMD Ryzen 9 CPU and up-to-date NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series graphics, creating a potent 17.3-inch gaming rig that's ready to trade blows with the likes of the Acer Nitro 17 and Lenovo Legion Slim 5 Gen 8, even if it ultimately doesn't come out on top. The ASUS ROG Strix G17 comes in just a few configurations, all sharing the same 1TB solid-state drive-in, except for one starter model, a 2, 560, by 1. 440. Pixel IPS screen with 240Hz refresh rate and Dolby Vision and NVIDIA G-Sync support. Our $1,399 Walmart model combines a 12-core AMD Ryzen 978 45HX processor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU, and 16GB of RAM. Two versions available at the ASUS online store step up to a 16-core Ryzen 979, 45HX CPU, and GeForce RTX 4070. Oddly, both cost $2,199.99, but one comes with twice as much memory, 16GB versus 8GB, Windows 11 Pro instead of Home, and a keyboard with per-key RGB lighting rather than four lighting zones, making the choice a no-brainer. If you've ever seen a 17.3-inch gaming laptop, it should come as no surprise that the Strix G17 is a thick piece of gear. Its display isn't one of the newfangled 1610 aspect ratio panels with thin bezels. Its top and side bezels may be narrow, but the thick bezel at the bottom of the screen doesn't help keep the size down. Factor in a rear end that juts out an inch, and you've got a notebook that might call for a new backpack purchase. The G17 tops out at 6.17 pounds and measures a beefy 1.21 by 15.6 by 11.1 inches, HWD. Most of the ROG Strix G17 is covered in rough plastic, with the keyboard deck a softer and smoother plastic. The deck is a pleasure to slide my fingers across, but is also a fingerprint magnet and has a bit of flex to it. At least the display cover and hinges get the metal treatment, even if the screen is still a little bendy. The system takes advantage of its size to fit in a spacious keyboard with a full numeric keypad, five macro keys above the function row, and segregated, albeit half height, cursor arrow keys. The buttonless touchpad measures almost 6 inches, yet still seems small because of all the blank space around it. Naturally, the keys combine translucent legends and edges with fully transparent WASD keys, though the RGB lighting is limited to four zones on this affordable model. While the setup has potential, the lighting ends up looking a bit sloppy as it bleeds out from beneath the keycaps. Plus, the illumination of the translucent areas is inconsistent making them look dirty and hard to read. Additional RGB lighting wraps around the front half of the base with adjustable zones. They spill light out onto your desk or tabletop, but they're also inconsistent, with clear hotspots for an uneven underglow. As big as it is, the Strix G17 almost disappoints when it comes to connections. You'll find two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports on the left side, along with a 3.5mm audio jack, but the right side is bare of ports, only hosting one of the system's four exhausts, which all strike me as fairly tight for a gaming laptop. Around the back are two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports with DisplayPort 1.4 support, an HDMI 2.1 monitor port, a gigabit Ethernet jack, and the AC adapter connector. Notably missing, 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet, a dedicated DisplayPort, and USB 4, which could have made up for the Ethernet shortcoming. Many gaming systems with Intel processors include Thunderbolt 4 ports nowadays, so the lack of USB 4 on this AMD machine is a bit of a letdown. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.